Welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Hey guys, this is Kurt. I wanted to discuss the lead leg front kick or the teep in Muay Thai. Uh, from an orthodox stance, it's the lead leg. Super beneficial. Um, but what you do or may or may not know about me is I'm actually a natural softball because I'm left-handed. So there is a threat to using the teep as a softball. Because um, if you were in an open stance, open stance meaning he's a he's a he's fighting like this and I'm fighting like this and my softball so we have that open side I throw a teep with my lead leg and he catches it or swoops it out of the way or sweeps it out of the way I'm open to his power side so it's not that I don't like to use a lead leg teep when I'm fighting softball but I keep it really low I uh, go for the knee, I go for the pelvic girdle, maybe do the lead leg round kick um, to, to instead. I don't use a high, higher kick like to the chest when I'm fighting, uh, fighting softball. All my teeps you'll see when I fight mostly from the rear leg uh, when I'm fighting softball. So if you're left-handed, that's something to te uh, take into consideration. I've heard uh, Muay Thai coaches say never throw a lead leg teep. I don't like that idea. It's like taking away a good tool, but it definitely needs to be modified. Um, there's a soft paw advantage, as they like to say, because most, I think about 87 to 90% of society is right-handed. So if you're a lefty and you're fighting soft paw, you get way more reps in fighting that way against an orthodox fighter, which is probably most of the people in your gym or you train with, so you're getting way more reps in with your style of fighting than they are with theirs in an orthodox stance. It doesn't mean that uh, you're inherently a better fighter or anything. It doesn't mean that at all. Um, the good thing about it is that uh, usually that, that will pay off for you in a fight or a, or a match, not necessarily a street fight. Self-defense and, and matches and fights are totally different things. Uh, so again, to recap, I'm in my southpaw stance. It's not that I don't want to use a teep, especially if I'm using it like in a grappling scenario where I'm like keep measuring the distance off like I don't want to fight. Boom, keeping it super low to the knee or the thigh so I can grapple into the match or into the opponent. So that's something I wanted to touch on. Uh, something if you're a southpaw lefty, definitely take in consideration. It's different as an orthodox fighter. Uh, he catches it or blocks it, I'm still on a good def good defense. If he does it here as a southpaw, um, I'm falling down, or if he catches it, I think he has good round or uh, hook punch, or a good straight, or a good roundhouse kick. He could kick me in the neck or the head. It's just more dangerous as a southpaw. So take that in consideration. Um, and I'm not saying don't kick with your lead leg because it's just too valuable to avoid. You have to have that in your arsenal. Just keep it low. I, all my lead leg kicks when I'm on my softball stands are super low. So it's difficult for them to attack you with. It's easier to defend yourself. All right, thanks. Take care. Let's roll. Hey, let's be careful. Uh, uh, uh.